any significant stretch of coastline, coastal defence has always been a major facet of military planning. Much could be gained from inhibiting the action of enemy vessels near the coast or through straits, while facilitating the movement and action of one's own vessels. Until quite recently, coastal defence was mostly achieved by mounting large guns in permanent emplacements such as this. Later, designs allowed the guns to elevate and traverse, so that they could be aimed more accurately and cover a larger area. But their accuracy was still such that a ship at some distance was an extremely difficult target to hit. Also, the precise location of the emplacement could not be hidden from the enemy for any stretch of time, which meant that it could be attacked repeatedly and at leisure. The modern way of defending a coastline is to employ a mobile and very accurate artillery system. If correctly designed, such a system can be moved rapidly along the coast, so that the enemy is never certain where it is. Also, some modern artillery systems offer accuracies which make it quite feasible to target a ship at a distance of many kilometers. Such a system is the CDS, or Coastal Defense System. It is designed around the world-renowned G5, one of the most versatile and accurate artillery pieces in the world. The G5 offers exceptional tactical and strategic mobility, phenomenal accuracy, and a wide choice of ammunition. Supported by auxiliary equipment from the same stable, it becomes a formidable coastal defense system. The centerpiece of the system, the G5 gun, was developed in South Africa by Littleton Engineering Works during the 70s and early 80s. It is a 155mm, 45 caliber gun with a range of some 40 kilometers at sea level. This range, combined with a wide traverse, allows one gun to cover more than a thousand square kilometers. The G5 can be towed at up to 90 kilometers per hour, which translates into impressive strategic mobility. It also has a built-in engine, which allows it to make tactical movements at up to 16 kilometers per hour. However, its strongest point in coastal defense is its accuracy. At three quarters of maximum range, the 50% dispersion zone measures 0,48% of range in length and 0,1% of range in width. 216 meters by 45 meters at a range of 22.5 kilometers. In the coastal defense system, a battery of four or six G5s is combined into a system with ancillary equipment according to the dictates of the situation. Typically, coastal radars would be used to provide information on threats. These radars could be existing fixed installations or mobile units which form part of the system. They could be backed up by visual observers or remotely piloted aircraft, which could also be existing equipment or dedicated parts of the system. The information from these sources is fed to a fire control center, which contains some of the most up-to-date equipment in the world. The fire control center processes the information along with inputs from, for instance, a meteorology station and the coastal defense command to generate firing orders for the guns. The computer can use information on target direction and speed to calculate target position at a proposed moment of fall of shot and can generate individual firing orders for guns at varying distances and angles from the target. As in any artillery operation, feedback on fall of shot is used to make adjustments to the gun settings. The accuracy and three rounds per minute rate of fire of the G5 then ensure that the target has a minute chance of escape. All the equipment in the system is highly mobile. Should quick movement be necessary, the G5 can be ready for towing within five minutes after firing the last shot. The entire unit can be moving within minutes after the last shot. In modern warfare, quick mobility is often crucial to survival and success. The G5 can fire any NATO 155mm round, but a comprehensive, fully developed range of ammunition can be supplied. High explosive, cluster, illuminator, radar echo, and red phosphorus. For coastal defense, the cluster round would be a typical choice. It is a dual-purpose, anti-personnel, anti-armor round, which contains 56 bombs, and is optimum for neutralizing an enemy ship's personnel, as well as its communication, radar, and control equipment. Alternatively, a high explosive round could be chosen. 
All the rounds can be used in the standard boat tail configuration or can be fitted in the field with a base bleed motor for extended range. All rounds can also be fitted with contact, proximity or time delay fuses. A complete range can be supplied. Thus, the coastal defense system is extremely flexible. It can be made up using existing equipment or it can be obtained from the supplier as a complete system with dedicated components. These components are mobile, robust, reliable and accurate. And when combined in a coastal defense role, make up one of the most effective systems for that role in the world today.